Hey kittens, Silver here with Kipling, the Sun Lemon Pomeranian plush, and I have a very exciting package here today. Uh, this is a little bit of a late night unboxing. It's about 6.30 p.m. right now. This, uh, this box came via DHL, so they're sometimes known to make later deliveries just from my past experience. Um, so I was highly in suspense waiting for this box to arrive, and here it is. So I am just going to dig right in and get this baby opened. Okay, so we have the package open now, and I'm already getting excited just by looking at this packaging. There's some really pretty designs on here, it looks like. I think I see a, a ballet slipper and some stars. Oh my goodness, what is this? Do I see puppy feet? Or is this a bear, maybe? Oh my gosh, look how adorable that... I don't think I've ever seen a cuter bag than this, ever. Oh wow, so... All right, so this is obviously um, a Disney-themed bag, um, as you can see here. What does this say? Is Stella Lou? Disney, uh, a Disney friend of Duffy. This is Stella Lou, Duffy's new friend. I don't know who these characters are, but I am 100% here for them because <laughs> these are absolutely precious. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> I guess I'm just not all that familiar with like, the newer Disney characters. I've never heard of Stella, Lou, and Duffy, but <laughs> how adorable is that? I'm really surprised to see uh, this bag in English, too, because this was, um, this was from Japan, which I might have mentioned before. I can't remember now. <laughs> I'm all aflutter. Oh my goodness. So I was a little anxious about this because... Um, I was worried that there wasn't going to be too plush in this, but I am quite confident that there are. I'm pretty sure I feel two lumps of fluff in here. So, um, yeah, there's definitely two. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Get ready for it. Now, one of these, um, admittedly, is one that I have, but this, uh, these plush only came in a set of two, and the seller wasn't going to separate them. So let's just... I'll get Kipling out of the way here, and it is killing me just delaying even even to do that much, but okay, so oh, I can tell who this is right on top because I am familiar with this plush. Okay, oh boy, here she comes, here she comes. Well, isn't this a familiar sight? It's Lady, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, the face is so perfect on her, holy moly. Oh my gosh, I should get my other lady out just to compare her. Oh my gosh, so adorable. That face though, oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna pause and get my other lady out um, so we can see what her twin looks like, hold on. Okay, so here they are. So obviously, very, very similar. Both so adorable. Oh my gosh. Super, super cute. I love the just the feel and the texture of the fur. The style is very, very similar to Sun Lemon. I, I've been calling them Sun Lemon. I'm not 100% sure that it is because the company has denied making any Disney plush, but who knows, maybe just the customer service rep who I was talking with just wasn't aware that they made them. Um, because they have that same exact um, style where they're uh, where they have um, that very floppy bean filled body and those signature embroidered paw pads which um, really every sun lemon plush has that I've seen so far um, and just the softness and overall quality of the fur really is very very reminiscent of, of that brand um, Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh my gosh, they're both so precious. Oh man, I never thought that I would end up with two ladies on my hands, but there they are. They're so cute. And I believe this, uh, yeah, this is the new one, so uh, she should be new with tags as well. And there it is. There's that Disney logo on this nice sort of shiny silver background. Okay, so that was, I guess she cost 4,000 yen back when, uh, whenever the person who purchased this 
bought her from the uh, Japanese Disney store. Okay, so we'll move the original lady out of the way for a sec. And now <laughs> this is the one that I've been waiting for. I've missed out on this plush, I think, I want to say maybe it was three, three separate occasions. So, so bummed about it, but now redemption at last. So you can probably guess who this is going to be. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, here he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe he's finally here. Look at this adorable tramp. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my gosh. There he is. Oh, look at the little face. He's so he looks kind of grumpy, doesn't he? Oh, he's so cute though. Oh, he's so floppy. Very uh very floppy neck I'm noticing. Just floppy overall. Move that bag for now. Oh my gosh. Look at just oh my look at that <laughs> that wonderful construction. Oh, I just love these laying plush and he's so maybe even well, no, they're the same. Yeah, uh, as far as the texture goes, but super, super velvety smooth. And I think probably maybe even, well, no, I guess similar floppiness. His neck is, is, is especially floppy. And I love the little sort of curled over ears. You can see they're um, kind of pinned on either side or, or sewn, I should say. Um, and he's got um, machine embroidered eyes, just like Lady does. And, oh, well, I don't think I should. I, I probably showed in my previous video, but Lady has her big red velvety bow, or some kind of, not velvet, I guess, um, some kind of silky material. Oh my goodness, and let's see, he has, it's um, sort of like a velvety, uh, like a hard velvety nose, and a little, looks like a little hand embroidered mouth, you can see the black thread there a little bit, underneath the little scruff of fur. I love the eyebrows on him too. There's, oh look, they actually, they're not um, fully sewn onto his head. They actually are sort of slightly raised at the top. That's, that's so cool. It actually gives it more of like a three-dimensional look. Lady has her embroidered eyebrows as well. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe that he's finally here and that I have the matching set. I thought it was going to be forever before I found him, if I found him at all. So let's see, he should also have his, yes, he's got his tag as well. It's a very similar tag. I don't know if there's anything on the inside of these tags or not. Even if there was, I probably wouldn't be able to read it because it's going to be in Japanese, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe somebody out there in, uh, in the viewing audience can read Japanese and this will be significant in some way. Oh my gosh, I am so, so happy. And I have to say, I've had the um, that song from the movie stuck in my head ever since I started searching for Tramp in particular. You know, the song, He's a Tramp. I, I'm, I, am, I have absolutely no singing skills, so I am not going to start belting out a tune for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> oh, oh, and look at his little embroidered paws. Oh my gosh, with that same um, sort of like chocolatey brown that his eyes are. Oh my God, he's so cute. Let me see the two of them. Oh my gosh. The two of them together are just perfect. Oh man, it's it's a shame that they didn't make um little pup the, the little puppies. I mean, I know there's Scamp was the uh, the boy. I don't know if the uh, I think there was a whole litter at the end of the movie if I'm remembering. I, I have to rewatch it just to refresh my memory. Have these guys with me? Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> they're so so perfect together. I am just so happy and relieved to have finally found him and that everything went okay with the shipment um, because I was getting a little bit anxious, um, but they are here and they are exactly what I was hoping for. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Lady and Tramp's uh, Sun Lemon knockoff perhaps plushies. Um, well, they're Disney Japan uh, either way. So. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in once again, and I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you guys.
Bye, everybody.